Good evening, everyone. Phil here, and welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was Saturday, the 8th of June, 2024. Today was a lot more normal of a day compared to yesterday, where I did the live react to Summer Game Fest. But at the same time, tomorrow is going to be an even weirder day than yesterday was. So let's talk a little bit about how, about how today went down. So first off, I had some upload issues yesterday, both with getting the live react to Summer Game Fest going, and also I had a corrupted Street Fighter video. So a lot of those videos were not live in, immediately and took overnight to go live. I hope that you guys enjoyed them. I'm sorry that that happened. Uh, the Honda video, particularly in Street Fighter 6, it just kept corrupting overnight, and eventually I had it ripped from the stream in the morning, so it took forever. I'm sorry about that. And the live React to Summer Game Fest is live on DSP Reacts if you want to check it out. On today's podcast, essentially what I did is I went through all the game releases from Summer Game Fest, and I made a new gaming schedule update. So if you want to know what games I'm playing uh, for the next few months, you definitely want to watch today's podcast. I literally went through the entire list, okay? We found out July, very light on game releases, very, very light. And so July and probably first half of August will be downtime for me to do things that I either want to catch up on or do a special project or bring something back. So we'll see. The funny part is late June is very busy. We have a lot of things going on in late June that are kind of exciting. So anyway, um, good podcast today, jam-packed, lots of fun, Q&A, everything going on like usual. And then today we played the surprise DLC that dropped this morning, Alan Wake 2's Night Springs DLC. Three different episodes, each starring one of the characters from Alan Wake 2. One of them was the uh, waitress at the diner. One of them was actually the sheriff of the, of the story of the town. And the other one was Jesse, the main character of Control, who had a tie-in with Alan Wake 2 now, officially. And we're like, whoa, that's wild. I don't want to spoil it. But basically, by the end of the three episodes, you find out how this ties into Alan Wake 2. You actually at first think maybe it's just something completely separate. Because that's what the game dev said. They said, oh, this is just what-if scenarios. But actually, end of the episodes, they explain it all. And they even give you the origins of Mr. Door from Alan Wake 2, who was always an enigma, and you never knew who he was. Well, you get to find out who he is in this DLC. So, it was about three hours, an hour each for each episode. I really enjoyed it. In fact, it looked amazing because I was running on my new capture setup and everything. And... It really was a great time. Everyone here who, who was here who liked Alan Way 2 really loved the DLC. And uh, it's just good stuff. So check it out on the channel. It's live. And uh, it was a good uh, a good romp. But now I'm excited for whatever this Lake House DLC will be because apparently that's supposed to be more of a traditional DLC. While this was three like kind of mini episodes, the next one's supposed to be like a chunky one. So that's coming later this year, supposedly. Um, okay, now, tonight on the late stream, we since we beat the Alan Wake DLC on the first stream... I needed something to do, and I said, you know what? Let's just do what we were originally were going to do as the day stream. Let's play Crow Country. So we did. We ended up playing Crow Country tonight for around two to two and a half hours. It was a great time. So first of all, the crowd we had was actually interested in the game, which I was happy. We didn't have anyone coming by bitching and moaning about how it looks retro and they don't like that or anything like that. The crowd was engaged and having fun. Everyone was having a great time and talking, which was really cool. Um, let me tell you how much we did in Crow Country tonight. We got all the weapons that I was missing, supposedly. I don't know if I have them all yet. But we got three new weapons, including the shotgun, the flamethrower, and the magnum. We uncovered a secret map, and this secret map tells you where all the secrets are in the game. So we had all these things marked off, and we ended up running around the map tonight, basically getting all the secrets. There's one we can't do because I think there's a critical story item we need to get it. But all the others we were able to get... <clears throat> And it was really fun. We got upgrades for a bunch of weapons. We got all kinds of neat stuff. Rare ammo. Uh, uh, oh, running shoes that make you run super fast. And an ability to upgrade your uh, health packs. So yeah, we did really well tonight uh, with all the secrets. And we made big story progression as well. Basically, we cleared out most of the underwater ocean area and got the map for it and did all that. Basically, where we're at now is now we can go to the underground, and the underground apparently has different things to do. Like, there's a we have to look for acid to put in a bottle. We have to look for a battery at one point. We have to look to, to disable a generator so we can get into Ed, Ed Crow's office, right? That's what we're going to be doing next time around. And then after that, you get to the next logical progression point to the game until you finish it. So, <clears throat> we did really well. We even saw new monsters tonight, like crazy new monsters. There's a ginormous one. I'd use the Magnum to kill it. Um, but it was fun, and we had a good time, and, you know... Great progress in the game and a nice chill late night horror stream. So honestly, today was all horror, right? We had Alan Wake, DLC, and then we had Crow Country, and it worked out really well, and I'm happy for that. Um, 
So thanks to anyone who attended. Now, if you're watching these videos on demand, thank you so much as well. And I, uh, uh, FYI, the audience for Crow Country has been great on demand. Like, it's very positive people leaving nice comments and saying nice things about the game and everything. So I would like that, yeah, obviously, to continue. Please, by all means, as you watch these new videos tonight, enjoy them and keep that vibe up because I'm really liking that on that playthrough, okay? Um, so that was today. But tomorrow is a very, very, very weird day. Here's why. Normally, Sunday would be React Day where I react all day. I'm still doing that, just not the normal react because in the morning, tomorrow morning early, is the Xbox Game Showcase starting at 10 a.m. Pacific time. So here's Sunday for you. No podcast at all. In fact, there may not even be a stream on DSP Gaming all day long. Just to forewarn you, okay? We're starting the live react on DSP Reacts to the Xbox Showcase at the latest, 9.45 a.m. Pacific time. If I can actually get in here even earlier, I will, but I don't know how things are going to go in the morning. But yeah, basically 9.30 to 9.45 a.m., stream goes live on DSP Reacts. We hang out for a few minutes. And then, boom, the event starts, and I'll do the live react with you guys. Um, it's Supposedly, the Xbox portion is two hours long, showcasing something like more than 30-plus games. And then, after that, there's a special Black Ops 6 event that is the same broadcast, so I'll just stay there for that. And I'll react to that as well. <clears throat> so however long that takes, because we don't know. Once all that is done, then I'm going to do my recap reactions, which is me summarizing everything we just saw. So people who don't want to watch that giant long presentation don't have to. And then talking about each point and what I liked and disliked about it. Okay, same thing I just did with Summer Game Fest. I'm doing again for some, for uh, the Xbox event and you know Black Ops event. So here's the thing. I don't know how long all that's going to take. We know it's going to at least be two hours long, but hey, with Call of Duty and everything, maybe it'll run three hours. And then if I react, maybe it's going to be almost the whole stream till 4 p.m. If that's the case and there's not a lot of extra time, I might just stick around and just hang out with you guys and do some Q&A. But if there's a lot of extra time, what if we get this done by like 2 p.m. and we got a couple hours left? Then I will set up an impromptu stream here on DSP Gaming. I will let everyone know via my posts on socials, you know, on, on X and also on the community tab of this channel. I'll say, hey... I'm going to do some Fallout. We're going to do hang out and just hang out and play some Fallout just to chill. So hopefully you guys will come over if that's the case, okay? So at the very least, live reacting to the Xbox and, and Call of Duty events and then recap reactions on DSP Reacts. If we have time, I'll do a Fallout stream here on DSP Gaming right after. Now tomorrow night, the late stream is still Retro React over on DSP Throwback at 6.45 p.m. Pacific time. But the difference here, we're starting a new event. It's going to be Rise of Nightmares, the co-op playthrough that I did with John back in 2011. Yeah, 13 years ago. It's an Xbox 360 Connect game. Yikes. The Xbox 360 Connect was terrible. It barely recognized your movements. It was finicky and wonky and barely worked. And this playthrough, I remember, was a horror game that was laughably silly because every time you try to do something, half the time it wouldn't work. All right? So it was funny as hell. I remember people laughed their butts off at that playthrough. So I hope you'll join me for the Retro React to that tomorrow night. It should be a fun time. Um, Monday, I wish I could say it was going to be normal. It's not because now the normal React show, DSP versus the Internet, that I would do on Sunday now has to be on Monday. So that's going to change the schedule around more. Basically, things will get back to normal on Tuesday. All right. But in the meantime, please enjoy all the horror gameplay on this channel from the streams. Please enjoy the full-length React of Summer Game Fest over on DSP Reacts. And tomorrow, we do it all again with Xbox, okay? Thank you all. Please have a good night. I'm off, because guess what? i going to get up early tomorrow. Stupid Xbox. Why can't they do it later? Anyway, thank you, guys. See you in the morning for the Xbox event. Peace out.